Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Nona. I'm really excited because I see a lot of you have been watching my channel and I'm thrilled. I actually decided to do this book a couple of weeks in a row. It's called Mary Inglebright's Storybook Favorites, Nursery Fair and Fairy Tales. It's, it's a really good book and I, I really like Mary Inglebright because she does all these beautiful illustrations and she's very famous and she's done a lot of good books. But I think we're going to concentrate on some stories here over the next few weeks. And I think a lot of you like the classic fairy tales as I do. So let's get started. Mary Inglebright's Storybook Favorites, Nursery and Fairy Tales. And today we're going to do The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs. There once were three little pigs who lived with their mother in a tiny house. As the little pigs grew bigger, the house grew smaller, and soon it became time for them to go out into the world and build homes of their own. All grown up. Mommy's a little bit sad. Mommy's get sad when babies grow up, but that's good. That's what we raise you for. The first little pig hastily built her house of straw. The second little pig took a little bit more time. He built a house of sticks. And the third little pig, who was smarter than the others, took the longest. She built a house of bricks. Now the first little pig was just sitting down to breakfast in her brand new straw house when she heard the voice of the big bad wolf outside. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? called the big bad wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the big bad wolf. And that's just what he did. Oh, help, help, squealed the first little pig. And do you know what? She ran to the house of sticks where her brother took her in. A little while later, the brother and sister were just sitting down to lunch in the new stick house when they heard the big bad wolf outside. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? called the big bad wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the big bad wolf. And that's just what he did. Oh, help! Oh, help! cried the little pigs, and they ran and ran to the brick house where their sister took them in. A little while later, the three little pigs were just sitting down to a bubbling hot stew. Sure enough, they heard the big bad wolf outside. Little pig! Little pig! May I come in? called the big bad wolf. No, you may not, said the third little pig. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the big bad wolf. Go ahead and try, said the third little pig calmly. The wolf huffed and he puffed and try as he might, he could not blow that little brick house down. Then the three little pigs heard noises on the roof for the big bad wolf had thought to try down the chimney. Down tumbled the wolf right into the cooking pot he hopped out and scurried away, and that was the end of the Big Bad Wolf. The three little pigs sang and played their favorite songs long into the night. Wow, that was a really good story. 
I think Mary Englebright tells it really well. It's exciting, but they're kind of short. So would you guys like to read another one? I have another one for you. Why don't we do that? This one is called Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. There once was a little girl who always wore a red cloak with a hood, so everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day her mother gave her a basket of biscuits to take to her granny who was not feeling well. That's nice. Little Red Riding Hood set off and she had not gone very far before she met a wolf. Ooh. Good morning, said the wolf. Where are you going in such a beautiful red cloak? I'm taking this basket of biscuits to my granny, who is ill in bed, Little Red Riding Hood replied. She knew she shouldn't talk to strangers, but this one seemed perfectly friendly. And if I could just say, I don't think it's a good idea to talk to strangers. If mommy says don't talk to them, or daddy says don't talk to them, maybe we shouldn't. I think that's the best plan. But anyway, Little Red Riding Hood thought he looked okay. I hope your granny doesn't live too far away, said the wolf. Oh no, said Little Red Riding Hood. She lives in the cottage at the end of this path. Now the wolf figured a weak old granny would make an easy meal. So away he ran, taking a shortcut to granny's cottage. He knocked at the door. Who's there? Granny called. It's your little granddaughter, said the wolf in a high voice. Lift the latch and let yourself in, dear, said Granny. The wolf lifted the latch, found Granny inside, and swallowed her in one gulp. My goodness. Then he put on Granny's nightcap and climbed into her bed. Before long, Little Red Riding Hood knocked at the door. Lift the latch and let yourself in, cried the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood lifted the latch and walked into the cottage. She took a few steps toward the bed and said, Why, Granny, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear, said the wolf. And Granny, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. And Granny, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear, growled the wolf. He jumped out of bed and ate Little Red Riding Hood in one big gulp. That might have been the end of Little Red Riding Hood, but luckily a woodcutter chopping wood near the cottage heard the wolf's growl and came to look. When he saw the wolf in Granny's glasses, he gave him a big scolding, and the wolf let Little Red Riding Hood and her granny step out unharmed. Embarrassed, the wolf ran away. Do you remember the biscuits? They were still in the basket waiting, and they made a fine treat. Wow. Did you like that one? That was a little bit of a surprise ending there. I thought it was pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed story time with Nona today and our two stories that we read. I hope you tune in next time for story time with Nona and we'll have some more exciting stories, I think probably from this same book. So tune in next time and I'll see you then. Have a good day. Bye.